Mortal Kombat 1 is getting a new horror character for Combat Pack 2. That's right, the creator himself teased it. And then on top of that, the biggest bug in Mortal Kombat 1 has finally been fixed. So hallelujah for that. Another day means more Mortal Kombat 1 news. I'm covering it all the time on this channel. So if you want to stay up to date on Mortal Kombat 1 news, then make sure to subscribe and ring that bell. That way you never miss any future videos. And then after watching, if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like down below. It really does help my channel out a ton. And without any further ado, let's Let's begin, starting off with the Combat Pack 2 news, because I know that's what all of you are the most interested in hearing about. As mentioned earlier, at the very start of this video, the creator of Mortal Kombat himself, Ed Boon, has confirmed that a new horror character is coming to Mortal Kombat 1. And since every character for Combat Pack 1 has already been announced, we know this character is coming in Combat Pack 2. And real quick, I find it kind of funny how Combat Pack 2 is already being confirmed when Combat Pack 1 isn't even out yet. We can't even play any of the DLC characters yet, and even so, here we are hearing about Combat Pack 2 characters. But if you're a longtime fan of Mortal Kombat, then you know horror characters are a staple of the series. Literally every Mortal Kombat game for the past 10 years or so has had a DLC character that was from a horror movie. For example, in Mortal Kombat 9, also known as Mortal Kombat 2011, we had Freddy Krueger. And I won't lie to you, as a high school kid, I did not like this DLC character because I wanted more Mortal Kombat characters. However, looking back on it, I do think that I was in the minority when it came to that opinion. Pretty much everybody else was super excited to play as Freddy Krueger. And as a result, Netherrealm said, okay, let's do it again. Fans seem to really like horror characters in Mortal Kombat, and it only makes sense. Because when you think about it, Mortal Kombat was known for its gore, and what's also known for its gore? Well, the horror movie genre. Or in other words, it's very likely that Mortal Kombat fans were also horror movie fans. Now, for me personally, I'm not a big fan of horror movies. However, I do love horror video games. So if anybody at Netherrealm is watching this video and you want to add characters from Resident Evil or Dead Space, be my guest. I would be super excited. Bioshock? That would be incredible. But I digress. Mortal Kombat and horror movies go together like peanut butter and jelly, and that's why in Mortal Kombat X we got Jason! And this time I was super happy. I was in college at the time, and Jason made perfect sense to me because he's a hulking monster. Unlike Freddy Krueger, who hunted his victims in their dreams and was a bit more methodical, Jason would just hunt people down at random and slaughter them. So it made perfect sense sense that he could somehow stumble into Outworld and just start fighting the ninjas and stuff. But of course we can't forget about Leatherface, because that guy was also extremely popular and one of the best players in the game, believe it or not. He's super top tier. And finally, there's one more horror character that was planned for Mortal Kombat 1, but sadly things fell through due to licensing issues and other complicated things like that, and this character's name was Ash Williams. That's right, it's not a rumor, it's been confirmed that Ash Williams was planned for Mortal Kombat 11, but things just fell through and didn't work out. And now finally, with Mortal Kombat 1, it's time for history to repeat yet again with one more horror movie guest character. However, unfortunately, as you all know, Ed Boon, the creator of Mortal Kombat, does like to tease his audience, and as a result, he's being cryptic once again. But even so, I'm pretty sure if we put on our thinking caps, we can guess which character is coming to Mortal Kombat 1. Let's hop on Twitter and find out. Alright, and here is the tweet in question. As you can see, there's no text only emojis, don't step on snake, and a thinking emoji. And as for the image itself, things get very interesting. There is a check mark for every single horror character that has appeared previously in a Mortal Kombat game. We have Freddy Krueger, Jason, and Leatherface. As for every other character, they have a question mark on their forehead, which means Ed Boon wants us to guess which character is coming to Combat Pack 2. And I just gotta say, you're all very lucky you clicked on this video, because I have a very high success success rate of guessing DLC characters. People always say I'm clickbaiting, and then guess what? The characters end up in the game. So let's go. First up, let's talk about Chucky and Jigsaw. Actually, I think the puppet has a different name, but I'm just gonna call him Jigsaw. These two characters, unfortunately, have the lowest chance of being in Combat Pack 2. Their only chance is to be a cameo character. And that's because Netherrealm games never have characters with tiny hurt boxes. Instead, every character is roughly the same size, and maybe some characters are bigger than normal. But when it comes to being small, Netherrealm just doesn't do that. Some fighting games do, like Dragon Ball Fighters and Fatal Fury, King of Fighters. But once again, the Netherrealm team just never does that. Every character is roughly the same height, and as a result, Chucky and Jigsaw are out. So next up, we have Pinhead from Hellraiser. I still need to watch this movie. I'm intrigued. The plot is way more interesting than I thought it was. Now I understand why I saw Pinhead on everyone's t-shirts and why he was all over the mall. This guy is a pop culture villain icon, which is 
is great and I'll give him credit for that. However, he's really not much of a fighter, so I don't see him being in Combat Pack 2. When it comes to being in a video game, I think Dead by Daylight is the best you're gonna get, because Pinhead would chase people, that's actually what he does in the film, they capture and bring people to hell. But when it comes to a fighting game, I think Pinhead would just let you beat him up because he thinks that pain is pleasure, he gets genuine joy out of suffering. And as a result, he just wouldn't make the best fighting game character. Also story-wise, I don't get why he would be hunting the characters. So when you put all those factors together, I don't think Pinhead has a very good chance of being in Mortal Kombat 1, so he's out. Which leaves us with our two final prime suspects, Michael Myers and Ghostface. Each of these characters have an equal chance of being in Combat Pack 2. Because keep in mind, Michael Myers has been a fan-demanded character for years now. People really want to see him. And as a result, I think he has the best chance of being in Combat Pack 2. However, that being said, I don't see why his gameplay would be that much different than Jason. Because think about it, they're both big lumbering men with a sharp weapon in hand, they're both highly durable and not very quick moving. At the end of the day, they're both very similar, so if I was Netherrealm, I would not put Michael Myers in just because he's going to feel very similar to Jason. But when it comes to Ghostface, man, this character would be super interesting. He is not big and burly like Jason or Michael Myers. Instead, his build is much leaner. In fact, if you watch the Scream movie, this guy gets tossed around by women sometimes. He has a tough time killing people. He's just not very burly. And as a result, even though he does wield a knife, I think his movement and attacks and mobility would be completely different than Jason and make him feel very unique. Because in case you're not aware, this character is famous for stalking his victims. So Ghostface may have the ability to hide in the shadows or make the screen completely black. Or maybe he has the ability to instill paranoia in the opponent and mess their movement up or slow them down. Something cool like that. And then finally, we have the intro dialogues. Michael Myers could not have intro dialogues, and that would make him a bit less interesting. For anyone not aware, Michael Myers does not speak in his movies, very similar to Jason. But Ghostface, this guy has some of the most iconic quotes in all of horror movie history, which means put him in Mortal Kombat 1 and the intro dialogues would be incredible. I think that alone is a great reason to put Ghostface in Mortal Kombat 1. But as you all know, I love making these videos interactive, so let me know in the comments down below which character do you think is most likely going to be in Combat Pack 2. Like I keep saying in every video, I truly do read each and every comment, so grab that keyboard and make your voices heard. Because now it's time for topic number two. The game-breaking glitch found in Mortal Kombat 1 has finally been fixed. That's right, for anyone not aware, there was a bug in Mortal Kombat 1 which gave Player 1 an advantage. And that's because Player 2 had what I thought was a smaller hitbox, but as it turns out, it's more likely to have been increased pushback on hit. Or in other words, as you were comboing the opponent, you knocked them slightly further away as player two. And that's not good because it actually causes your combo to drop in certain situations. Whereas player one did not have that problem. Or in other words, the game was biased towards player two and gave them a distinct disadvantage. Let me know in the comments down below if this glitch ever happened to you. Thankfully, I don't think I ever experienced it. Maybe I just got lucky or these pushback combo situations were extremely rare and specific and I just never did any of those certain combos. No matter what the case may be, I'm just glad this glitch is finally gone. Ed Boon himself said on Twitter, this bug should be removed on Friday, and that's when this video is going live. Which is great news, because it means finally Mortal Kombat 1 is completely fair. If you lose online now, it's your own fault. But thank you so much for watching everyone, and I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like down below. It really does help my channel out a ton. And then keep that combo going by subscribing and ringing that bell, that way you never miss any future videos. Make sure to come back next time, and as always, stay underdogs.